Hi, and welcome back to Jocelyn Crafts. This is our second Easter felt project video, and it is episode two of my Corona crafting series. So last time we made these cute felt Easter eggs, and now we're making a companion for them, these cute felt Peeps style Easter bunnies. Here are the supplies that you will need. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a hold of your Peeps Bunny template. I did not make this. I will give full credit to the website where I got it down in the notes and I will link to it so that you can print it out yourself or you could make your own. So you take the template and you take the felt and your scissors and you start cutting out as many Peeps as you want to make. Okay, now thanks to our video magic, I have three peeps front and back ready and cut out and all good to go. See, they're a little ragged around the edges, but you can always trim them up or you can leave them as is because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now's the time when you want to take your permanent marker. If you have a Sharpie, that would be great. You could even use fabric markers if you have fabric markers. And you're just going to do dots. Anyone can do this. It takes no artistic talent whatsoever. Dot. 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 Two eyes and a nose. Easy as pie. So you want to do that on the front side only of your bunnies. Dot. 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 And dot, dot, dot. That's all there is to it. Now, for the Easter eggs, you used some craft glue. For these Easter bunnies, because of their little tight ears, I feel like they don't hold as well with craft glue. If that's all you've got, what I would recommend doing is just completely glue the ears and then glue an outline around the head and the very top of the body and let it dry completely before you stuff the body and finish closing it with craft glue. If you want to stuff the ears, you really have to have a hot glue gun. So sorry about that. And it looks like my permanent marker marked my table. Gonna have to clean that later. So, you bring in your hot glue gun. And you wanna start just with these ears. Because they are the trickiest part. You just want to match it up, make sure that it's closing nicely. And let those ears set up for a minute before you do the rest of the body. Because if you try to stuff it, I have learned this from experience. If you try to stuff it too soon after gluing the ears, they might split back open. So you wanna make sure that the glue is nicely sealed, check around the seams, make sure it worked. Then you can go ahead and start gluing down the side. Again, we're gonna to wanna to leave an opening for the stuffing. 
So I'm going one side closed. I'm gonna glue the other side closed. And I'm gonna let that set up for a minute while I grab my stuffing. Okay, so I have glued all three of my bunnies and I let them sit up and they all have an opening at the bottom. And then I went around the edges with my scissors and cleaned up the little spots like this one right here where there's a little, let me get that to focus, where there's a little bit of glue popping out. You can just snip that off and trim them up so they're nice and tidy. And now it's time to stuff them. So you wanna start with just a little stuffing at a time. And this is where my nice little chopstick comes in. We wanna get the stuffing all the way up into those ears, unless your fingers are like extra long and skinny. You're gonna to have to use something like a chopstick or a blunt pencil maybe to get the stuffing to go up into that ear section. So just put a tiny little bit of stuffing in. Work it up towards the top and then use your tool, your stylus, your chopstick, your pencil or pen and just Get that stuffing up into the tips of those ears to make them cute and puffy. Then you can finish stuffing the head and the body. And these are so tiny that they're only going to use a very small amount of stuffing. You don't want to overdo it or you will burst your seams. Just give them a little bit of puff. So I think he needs just a tiny bit more right here in the bottom. And I'm going to try to keep it towards the middle. So see how I am trying to keep it towards the middle so that I can still glue around the edges. So I've got that stuffing in the middle and we bring the hot glue gun back over. And close it up. And we'll have to go back and trim again because I am messy with hot glue. So I did one side, now I'm going to close this last hole. And once it's all dry, I will go through and I will trim up these little messies. And I will stuff the other bunnies and then I will show you the final steps. Okay, so now I have finished stuffing and gluing my little bunnies and I went around and I trimmed up the biggest globs of glue that were coming out. So now the time has come to do some embellishments. So, if you want to, you can put cute little bow ties on them. And I want to, because they are adorable. So what you do is you take a four to five inch length of ribbon, and you just tie it in a little bow. And then you can attach it with a little dot of hot glue. That's all there is to it. And now he gets a bow tie. So these two are like opposite twins. And then she gets her pretty little bow tie. Or if you want it to be a girl bow, uh, a girl bunny, you could even put a little bow right up here. So 
So she gets her little bow right up there. All kinds of bunnies. Now, what can you do with your bunnies and your eggs that you have made? For starters, I like to attach little ornament ribbons to them. This is one, again, oh, and let me also mention, if you wanted your seams to be tidier on these bunnies and you had the extra time, you could do an embroidery seam and then that would be a little extra neat and tidy. But these are fun for the family anyway. You might as well just glue them and crank them out and have a whole bunch of fun little bunnies to play with. So once you've got all your bunnies and all your eggs, I like to attach ornament ribbons to them because that makes them more versatile. If they have ornament ribbons on them, there is all sorts of things you can do with them. And I will show you a few ideas in a minute. So first let me show you how to attach an ornament ribbon with hot glue. So I'm going to I think use a pink ribbon on this little bun bun. You just put a dot, just like with the bow tie. And you wanna put the ribbon at kind of an angle let it start to set up for a sec. You'll have to pull off the little loose strands in a sec. Then you put a second dot right on top of where you put the first one. And just make a nice little loop. You crisscross it and press it down. And can come back and pull off those little strings of loose glue later. Make sure it's sitting the way you want it and let it dry. So it's as simple as that. And if you, again, want to make it even more secure, you could thread a needle with some of the embroidery floss that we used on the embroidery eggs and just tack a few cross stitches down through where the ribbon is crossed and hook it on that way. If you don't have ribbon, you could also use yarn or embroidery floss to make your ornament loops and your bow ties. These are very versatile and I'm gonna attach a loop to the egg the exact same way. Except I didn't trim this one up yet. So this is what I mean by the gobs of glue, and you can literally just snip them off with scissors to tidy it up and make it look a lot more finished. So, got that one all tidied up now, and I'm going to attach an ornament ribbon to the egg the same way I did to the bunny. Dot of glue. Pat that ribbon on. Second dot of glue. Make sure that it forms a nice little loop. And crisscross it down. And let it dry. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to show you a few ideas for what you can do with these finished ornaments. Obviously, you could, if you have a seasonal decor tree, you could hang them from that. If you have coat hooks or anything on your wall, you can hang them from that. You could attach them to Easter baskets or don't bother putting the ornament loop on and just tuck them in amongst the goodies in the Easter baskets. You could attach them to gifts that you are giving away. There's all sorts of things. And let me show you two more quick ideas. Here's one idea. You could put some dowels together or some popsicle sticks and hang these little doodads off of it to make an Easter mobile, which you could hang from a hook on your ceiling be a fun little hanging Easter decoration. 
And here's another idea. You could thread your ornaments on another length of ribbon and make them into a fun Easter bunting, which you could hang up somewhere in your house. So either, whatever way you decide to use them, these are fun and easy little felt crafts for Easter that you can do with your whole family. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Corona Crafting with Jocelyn, and the next one will hopefully be ready sometime next week. See you then.